Well, everybody, it's that time. We're going to check out all the games that I completed in September. So sit back, relax, grab yourself some popcorn, and let's get started. So the very first game that I completed was Saints Row Reboot. This one is not a great game. I do not recommend this one. I will tell you that it's a glitch fest even after a year after it's been released. It's still glitching. So if you're the type of person who wants to get a laugh or a chuckle, go and play this game. If you do not play it on Game Pass, do not pay a lot for this. The story is very bland. It's a game where... <laughs> I played it and I thought, oh, it's going to get better, it's going to get better. It never got better. It's a sad tile of, uh, they just, I guess, could you could tell like halfway through that they didn't know what the hell they were going to do or how they were going to end the game because they end up just like, it's going to be a plot twist of like, oh, somebody's going to sabotage you. It was boring. There is fluff missions that are main missions that should be a side mission altogether. I don't mind, you know, like, uh, get to know your characters, get to know your, your team, your crew, but do that as a side mission, not as a main mission. I'm not going to go get some chicken nuggets on, a like, a Happy Meal. Like, we don't need to do that. Like, that is not part of any other game. Get that shit out of my game. If you're going to do that, do that with, like, some horrible DLC. I don't mind some funny DLC. I loved when they did, like, um... The Christmas DLC for, or Enter the D Dominatrix for uh, Saints Row 4. That was some funny shit. This is not, it's not funny at all. So definitely finish it on Game Pass before it leaves. Um, I don't recommend this game at all. So the next game, I'm not even going to try to say it. So here it is. It's a bullet hell shooter game. Basically, they took a twist on the game shooters that are you know, bullet hell shooters, and they modified it to where it's a fighter meets a bullet hell shooter. Basically, you battle 1v1, and you're trying to out-pattern the other character or other person, whoever you're facing, and it's all female characters, which I found really funny that they, the storyline is hilarious. It's basically like, oh, hey, how are you? Oh, I, you're almost there. You're gonna win. I, I believe in you. Here we go. And then they battle you. So I had a good time with this. This is a 10 out of 10 shooter. Definitely try it out on Game Pass. And if you do find it and you want to pick it up, I recommend this one. The next game is on the Game Boy Advance and this is The King of Fighters EX Neo Blood. I had a great time with this fighter. It's 3v3. You basically need to use your trigger buttons and your regular buttons for your Game Boy Advanced. I had a good time with this. The story is great. It's again another King of Fighters story where you basically are battling all the way to the end, to the end guy, and you have to face him. And he's a very difficult guy, just FYI. But it was not so difficult to where you're like, I'm going to just rage and quit this game. This is a nice, solid fighter for the Game Boy Advance. If you ever find this, pick it up. It's definitely worth your time. I had a good time with this one. So... Get your characters together. This one didn't have like a group of characters. This one lets you pick who you wanted to have on there. And I picked all the ones that had uh, some fighting black belts on them. You know, like some geese. So you know who I picked, right? The King of Fighters had another EX game and that's King of Fighters EX2 Howling Blood. This is another great fighter. They took a little bit of a twist on it. Um, they modified the fighting style just a smidge. So if you're playing that and you go back to back, you're going to notice it. But if you play it and you have a little bit of time in between, I don't think you really will notice it. But it's a minor change on the art style and a minor change on like how they screen display everything. But I didn't mind it and it's a good fighter as well. Solid. Definitely try this out. It's uh, one of those games where you could play them like back to back and on a plane ride and you're going to beat this game in about maybe 45 minutes, depending on how hard the last guy is. He's random at the very end, so I cross my fingers for you, and I hope you win for that one. It is a great ending on this one. Because it's going to be a new season of Power Rangers, Cosmic Fury is happening soon. I wanted to play a Power Ranger game, and that's Power Rangers SPD for the Game Boy Advanced. This is a good game. Uh, there is a couple levels where I'm like, eh. I don't like the find the person levels or the puzzle levels. They're not really my cup of tea, but it's not that bad. Um, it's better than Lightspeed Rescue for sure. 
So if you're going to play this game, it's basically each ranger has their own level and they have to utilize their powers. So for example, the red ranger has invisibility, go through walls. So you have to utilize that during boss fights and then you become the Megazord like always in every single Power Ranger game. And you have to battle the guys and the monsters and get rid of them and solid game. I like it. Definitely recommend this. If you find it for the Game Boy Advance, pick it up for sure. The next game is an indie game that I had picked up when I picked up a couple other indie games because I had a few dollars left on the wallet and I was like, there's a sale going on, let me try it out and support a team. Uh, these are kind of like story driven games where you have to barely interact with the screen sometimes. There's a few puzzles, it's very mon, like mostly just like a make a choice man. So, the two guys are late on the rent. I don't know why I keep picking games that are similar to each other. Just like Saints Row, they need some money to pay the rent, so they have to go in and search for their treasure. They had uh, buried some money somewhere and they can't find it, so they need to find it again. So you have to like look through their apartment, look through their neighborhood and different ways and try to find it. And you meet kids throughout the time and they either are like, oh, let me help you find it or let me, can you fix my toy? Can you fix that? And so it's a little bit of fluff as well, but it's not too bad. And I definitely will say get it for cheap. It's a fun little kind of like an hour, hour and a half game, depending on how long it takes you to finish everything. You could probably burn through it. There's probably speed runs of it in like 30 minutes, but a nice game. It's good for indie teams and I don't mind supporting them. I decided to play Saints Row 4 Re-Elected, and it was a solid game. Um, I don't think they changed anything in the story, even though they said they remastered it or remade it, but I don't think I saw anything different. I mean, I think they might have changed a couple things for like the outfits, but for the most part it's the same story. You're literally the President of the United States now. And you have to fend off aliens who have attacked the world. It's basically the Matrix, but for Saints Row game. I had a good time with it. You don't really need any cars. You don't need anything. You get superpowers and you fly through the Matrix and you try to get and save all your friends. I'm not going to spoil too much, but there is a fun little twist where you become like Leave it to Beaver. I kind of left that outfit on for a long time and I didn't mind it, but yeah, it's a good game. I recommend it. If you have it, try it out. Now in an amazing game. This is called The Takeover. This is a beat-em-up that's a modern game with a classic feel. It's got 90s nostalgia. It's got little Easter eggs. It's basically like Final Fight meets Streets of Rage. It is such a good, solid game. There's multiple endings to this, so you could have replay value. There's little, like different styles. There's like machines, you battle people, you battle a lot of stuff. The art style is amazing in this game. I like it. It's kind of like cartoony a little bit, but it's more like um, 90s cartoon style where it's like a little bit of comic book feel to it. And I like that you could pick characters that were like back in the day where there was a solid middle character, a fast character, and a tank character. And I hope that they make a second one. This is an awesome game. Thank you to the chat for letting me find a bad ending. I had a good time with it. So if you get a good ending, let me know what happened. Did, did it all end well? Was it all roses? I don't know, but I'm not mad. It was just funny as hell. The next game, I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly, is Clardaris Blaze. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is a shooter game. It's a solid shooter. Basically, you have little to no minion time. It's uh, all battling like big monsters. I had a great time with this shooter. I, I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm really enjoying these shooters that are on the Game Pass. Like They need to feed me more of these games. Basically, you could pick a range of characters and they all have their specialty and I really enjoyed a bullet hell and I was not mad that I was stressed out the whole time because it gave you a little bit of like leeway on this one so I think they were a little bit friendlier to the new because like I don't play shooters on hard difficulty 
it's just not my thing but when you get it to like the less difficulties then they don't they don't go crazy on you so i i respect the developers for letting you play a game and not giving you a destroy your spirit kind of style if you want to play it at a, a like an easier difficulty it's okay it's not bad for you so have a fun time with this i recommend this game i had a blast and fun fact there is like i don't know what they call them they're like um moments where they go ah and then like something happens to the characters it's fun to watch because then you're like oh what's gonna happen to them and then like something happens like a kind of like a new form for the character but there's like six of them so it's enjoyable but definitely recommend this one and a new game that I had talked about a while back on the reaction video. I thought this was so intriguing. This is a fighter meets a rhythm game. And basically you are to out rhythm the other character or the person and you get to hit that person. So the person who gets closest to getting a perfect gets the hit. The other one has no chance of blocking. But if you are matched evenly, then they're both like one hits and the other one blocks. So it's a fun style game. I recommend this one. Um, basically, it's kind of like another nostalgia game where it's you meet and you, have you ever, if you've ever been to a tournament for like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, they battle it out. It's the exact same thing. They battle it out and then whoever gets the most combos or gets the longest streak of notes they win and i had a fun time with this one i bought this game not thinking oh i'm gonna be playing a rhythm game and then you're like wow actually it is more of a fighter than it is a rhythm game because you have to keep your focus and you have to make sure you're strategic about when you do your special because if you do your special too early just like in a race if you hit your nos too early they could get back and they could build up their little rank and they can get their special and knock you out. And it was so stressful at the very end. There was a guy that he was a mega boss. He was the god of rock. And he literally took like five times to figure out because he was very good at his specials. And so that just knocked out my spirit. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat this part. <laughs> so definitely recommend this. It's a fun game. And the very last game that I finished was called Save Room. This is a game where you take Resident Evil's inventory and you put it into a game. So you have a puzzle game of, okay, I have this many guns, I have this much ammo, I have this much health. I need to go in and make the management last, so here we go. But if you ever played a Resident Evil game, you're going to know it very well. So it's kind of easier than I expected because... I know red and red makes pistol ammo so like I was just like oh okay make this pistol ammo do this do that but there was a little twist to it um you have to figure out also the puzzle of like when to heal when to damage yourself when to do this when to do that fill ammo into the guns don't fill ammo into the guns you also have to figure out like can I do this can I do that I had a fun time with it in platinum this game because I was just like how many levels are there? It just kept going. I had a good time. So definitely recommend this. If you are a Resident Evil fan, it is an homage to the inventory system. Highly, highly, highly recommend this game. Pick it up. It's not expensive and it's a good time waster. You will have fun with it and you will get all the little like hello stranger vibes. So definitely try it out. And there you have it, ghouls and ghosts. I have beaten 11 games for September. Let me know, how was your September? Did you uh, face your fears? If you did, let me know. Was it ghosts? Was it stalker characters? Was it zombies? Or was it something entirely different? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new, check out a couple other videos. Hit the sub if you like the content, helps out the channel. And also give it a like, helps out the algorithm telling uh, you want more of my videos and you want it in my feed. So 
definitely catch you later. I will be playing spooky games this whole month, so be on the lookout for Face Your Fears the whole month. And I'll catch you later. Bye! Linda the Gamer Gal She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Gal